Welcome back guys to another video of Sir Grizzle channel. Today I will be doing the second episode of Tips and Tricks with Sir Grizzles. For you guys that are new and you guys want to know what is the Tips and Tricks with Sir Grizzles series, basically I target each and every episode one specific aspect of Boxing Beta and I explain it and try and make you guys get better while using it. Before we start, I want to just say two things. First things first, uh, shout out to U. Uh, I got my platinum back so uh shout out to him the allegations were false so uh thank you guys so much and actually he told me that a bunch of you guys were actually telling me or telling him to you know give my my rank back so i just give you guys a big appreciation for that i i love you guys so much and uh second thing uh, you may be wondering why i haven't been posting a lot lately uh, I have been very, very focused on school. I have just graduated uh, from high school. I still have a few exams in the next two weeks, so I still won't be 100% busy. But yeah, if you guys want to see some of the pictures or some of the videos that I have of me graduating, go to my discords and you will be able to see me getting called up in French. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, in this episode, we will be talking about the block management. You guys are asking between this and stamina management. So the next episode will be sta stamina management and this episode will be uh, block management. So we're going to do that to in this video. I'm going to try and explain it a bit before I go fight, but it's going to be a lot more fighting because block management is very tough to explain on its own. But I'll be able to give you guys some pointers before fighting and then we'll start with that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. And let's get on with teaching you guys what block management is. So for anyone that is wondering why, uh, what, what, first things first, let's see, what is the block? So when you press space bar or left trigger, I believe it is on, is it left trigger? I think it's left trigger on uh, controller. You are going to be in this stance, which precedes you being, you cannot throw any punches, but you can um, block punches coming at you. Every time you get punched, a bit of damage just taken off so you guys remember this uh this bar on the bottom uh the bar every time i punch that's going down depending on if the bar is all the way down and up will count as how much damage will be deal dealt to your block so first things first if you if if it's a powered if it's an eight damage punch it'll deal six damage to your block and if it's four it'll deal four basically uh i'm telling you guys this to kind of give you guys an idea but they did do an update so when your block gets broken by a regular punch it does not deal damage to the other opponent so usually what it would do is let's say my block was at four and i broke it it would actually deal the extra damage that would need to but not anymore now it does it's not a thing so that's one thing second thing about this that it's very important is that it takes a while for it to recharge i have done the calculations it takes 3.4 seconds for it to start recharging so it will take a little bit for you to start recharging and every time you get punched that timer resets so let's say you are fighting and you let's say even if you avoid getting punch your block the second you pull that up and they punch you that timer resets so that's why you got to be a lot very careful so here are the small tips i'm going to teach you guys in the fighting so one thing you guys can do is rely on your dodges so you dodge a little bit and then you look on the top uh, top of your screen up here as soon as it starts recharging then you can start uh, as soon as it starts recharging then you can be a little bit more passive try and run away and try and bring up your block second thing when you have downtime, you block, but the second they come close to you, you drop it. So that even if you take a bit of damage, it's okay, but your block will come back. Because here's what I'm my uh, astrology is. Yes, you take a little bit of damage, but your block's coming back bit faster, which gives you more health. So if you only get punched one or twice, it's going to be way more important from, 30, from a 30 health uh, block standpoint to just a 12 health deficit. That's why you want to keep doing this. You want to keep your, your block very high. Uh... Rule of thumb, you want to drop your guard below uh, 10 block. The only time you don't really want to drop it that, uh, you want to bring it up as if you feel like they have a power punch coming, etc. There are moments where you do have to keep it up, but um, next thing about the block that is very important. So I'm going to teach you guys this more during the fighting a lot more. So I'm, if you guys don't catch what I'm talking about, just stick to the fighting portion. I will explain it then. So let's say you are fighting this guy hyper aggressive because this is where this is going to be important. Let's say he's hyper aggressive. He's going for your block. So you got to, you know, time your dodge as well so you can get away. And then as soon as you see your block start recharging, 
you go in and you start dealing damage with them, and then as soon as your block is up again, you you bring it up. That's a lot of uh, people will do. They'll actually wait. So let's say your block is at 12. They will wait like this. They will stay passive like this until their block starts recharging. Then they'll be aggressive and then get in your face. Because then your block's already mid-recharge. So by the time you get to your opponent, it'll all be max. So it'll be time less time wasted. So I'm going to go play some uh, some fights. I'm going to try and teach you guys this a little bit, uh, a little bit more. And yeah, let's get on with fighting some people. Also, uh, I'm, I apologize. I'm in my work uniform still. Uh, yeah, I've been working, making the bag. All right, we are in a game. Um, so I, I have to turn off the audio because they were playing some copyrighted music. So uh, so I'm, I'm going to teach you guys this a bit more. So you can see my block is low. It starts recharging. I'm in his face. Now I'm going to play a little bit further back. Now my block is higher than his. So I'm going to try and play a little bit more aggressive. He's, a, he's attacking my block a lot more. So I'm going to try and just let it recharge. There you go. Now it's back. So I'm going to go back in his face. My block is low. So I'm going to drop. I'm going to hold it up. He gets close. Drop it. Go back again. My block is back. Now we can go back into the offensive end. He's spamming a lot though. So, okay. So now I don't have a block here. So this is where this gets interesting. So I'm going to go back. My block. He gets close. Drop it again. And now I'm back at full health. You see, it's, a, it's, it's all mind games. And he's gone. Cool. <laughs> so basically, that's what... It is. It's just about timing your stuff to make sure that you're that you're in the right time. Um, but yeah, that's all blocking is. You want to drop your guard at the right time so you can let give it time to recharge, even if you have. It looks like a bad situation. So now you can see my block is high. Uh, my block is low, so I'm gonna back up. Back up. Now it's close. Okay, he doesn't block enough, so uh, this isn't the greatest fight to show you. Uh, so now my block is low, but that's okay. He just wasted all his punches. So. Here's what I'm going to do for this round. I'm going to try and just literally let him attack my block and then I'll show you what I do. So he's going to break my block. I'm going to break I'm going to let him break my block and then I'll tell you what he do. Okay, so now here my block is low, so I'm going to play a bit more aggressive. That was a bad thing for me. Okay, so he gets close. Block, dodge, and now my block is back, so now I can just hit him with a power punch and it's over for him. He's probably going to be down here. So the the first part I didn't do well cuz I didn't I lagged a little bit. But that's okay. What I did is I basically just made sure that my block is low. So yeah, let's do it again. I'm going to let him break my block. Come on. Punch me. Punch me, buddy. Okay, so now I'm in this state. So I'm going to be a little bit... You know, if he gives me that space, you know, I'm going to take that space to heal up, you know. But let's say he wants to attack my block again. Come on. Punch me. Come on. Come on. Dude. There you go. So I'm going to try and back up. He gets close to me. I'm looking at my on the top of my screen, and it's back up now. So now I can go back into the offensive, punch him in the face. And then now my block is back, so I can always come back in. This this ties in really well with, with stamina management. So if you guys want to kind of get that down, then you could do that as well. But yeah, that's what you got to do. And that's basically all there is to block management. It's very very easy. All right, here again. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him break my block. I'm gonna let him see what he does. Come on, break the block. Come on, dude. <laughs> Guys, if you're next to someone, punch him. <laughs> there we go. Now, now he's gonna be a little bit more aggressive. So I'm gonna drop my guard. Not gonna let him hit my block. And then now it's back up, so now I can be back on the offensive end. Don't do what this guy is doing. Look at his stamina. It, that that shows why you don't spam dodges. And that's a beautiful power punch for me. And bada bing, bada boom. So, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed it. He had three block, and I power punched it and still did my the damage even though he was blocking. So, that's what you have to be careful of. Th those would be the moments when you have to block. When your block is above six, and you do that. Come on, punch me, dude. I'm, I want to break my block. I want to show my viewers how to, how to do this. Okay. So, now you can see my block is low. And then he gets close. I drop my guard. He gets close again. I drop my guard again. And now my block is back. It's it, that's how you gotta you gotta play it. Don't do like this guy does and just spam dodges, you know. Cause at one point your guy's gonna read it, so I'm just gonna break his block. You see, he doesn't have block management, and he's dead. There you go. See, guys, it's not it's not too difficult to to learn. It's all about making sure you do the right things at the right time. So let me see if he'll break my block again. Come on. Punch my block. 
Come on. Bro, I, I don't understand people's judgment here. Punch! Thank you! Oh my god. Okay, there you go. Now he wants to get in your face. So I'm gonna back up. My block is rechanning. He misses punches, but that's okay. My block is already back. Dude, I know when to time my punches. So like, I don't know what are you doing. I try to do something there. That's okay. I'm not even gonna punch him. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit in his face, give him a panic attack. There we go. <laughs> Dude, this guy was not punching my block, dude. You gotta punch the block one way or another, goddamn. All right, let's do this again. I'm gonna break my block again. Come on. Okay, at least this guy's breaking my block. You see, now he's gonna get... He doesn't take advantage of it, but that's okay. You see, he got close. I dropped my guard. Now I'm gonna back up again. I'm gonna let my block recharge. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's that it's that simple, y'all. You, you see, I had my block all the way down. Just had to drop it, let him let it recharge, do my dodges, and I, sh I was okay. Just be careful with don't do spam dodges like the other dude did because that's just going to ruin your stamina bar, and we don't want that. All right, I went to gold servers because diamond servers right now are not as uh, popular right now. But yeah, so uh, we're going to do this block management stuff some more. So here we go. So you can tell, just give it time to recharge. I'm gonna make sure his block is not is not coming back anytime soon. I'm gonna just scare him a bit. He's gonna need to watch this video because he said he's a fan of mine. So yeah, if you guys spot me and you guys ask if you want to spar, I'll probably be down. But yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good uh, block management there. He had his block down. He just could have thrown a few more punches. He's doing the same thing though, every punch he dodges, so it could be detrimental him in the future of this round. So I'm just gonna punch him. He does the same combo over and over, so you can see my block is coming back now, so I'll be able to just pressure his block. Yeah, he does always punch block, punch block, so I'm just... I'm gonna watch that out. Beautiful punch for me. There we go. That's pretty good. So you can see how I'm just always making sure my block is up by dropping it at the right time. See, he's not punching fast enough for him, for me to have my block as low as I should. So I'm backing up, giving it time to recharge. He's not giving it time to recharge. Now my block is back. Now my block is low, so I'm going to drop it. All right, my block is recharging, so I'm going to be able to go on the offense and not let his block come back. Be a dodge from him. Okay, I'm going to let my block recharge as his recharges as well. So now my, mine is coming back, so I'm just going to start going a bit on the offensive. Okay, my, my stamina is a bit lower, so I'm just going to try and let it time to recharge. I'm punching a little bit slower because I'm trying to read that punch that, that punch dodge he always does. My block is all the way down. He has a little bit of a health advantage here, so I'm going to let him try and, you know, throw these bad punches because he's always getting baited by them. It didn't look like he dodged. Okay, now my block is low, so now it's recharging now, so I'm going to try and go a bit on the offensive. There we go, beauty, beauty. He has no stamina, so now he's just gonna get, he got a knockdown animation, no clue why he didn't go down. He has no stamina, so I'm just gonna get in his face. Yeah, he's putting up to his block too much, so that's why he's losing. You can see I've dropped my guard and now my block's always up at all times, so. That's that's why I'm able to get these these quick rounds and why I'm able to. He does dodge a little bit more than I do, so that's why he's always getting some some dodges. That was a good power punch from him. Wow, didn't re didn't read that at all. I mean, st I'm still gonna block practice block. Beautiful. 
beautiful for me. My block is still low, so I'm going to come back and let it recharge. Okay, now my block is low and I have low stamina, so I'm just going to let it recharge. You see, it got close. So now I played a bit of ag aggressive and now my block is all the way back. So I'm just going to try and bait some of these punches. My block is a bit low here, so I'm going to just let it recharge now. Boom, beautiful power punch for me. My block's a bit low, so I'm going to let stay back and let it recharge. He's not being aggressive because he has the health disadvantage, so I'm just going to bait some of these. Beautiful from him. That's okay. GG's. There we go. You can see that I'm always trying to keep my block up by dropping it at the right times and whatnot, but yeah, that's how, you that's how you're supposed to, you know, that's how you're supposed to play this. It's very, 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 very um, simplistic and whatnot. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, to kind of recap on what we learned, so always make sure your block is up. Always drop your guard to try and give it time to recharge. Block when you have downtime, even when it's slow, but if they get close, uh, you know, bring it up so that you don't, you know, they don't hit your block. Always pressure the other person's block when your block starts getting up. And uh, time your dodges accordingly to give time for your block to come up and so your stamina doesn't go too low. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.